Rand Paul is launching a new attack against Bernie Sanders or any who are advocating for new democratic socialist policies to be adopted in America. But his ideas of what the consequences of those policies would be seem a little bit over the top. Let's listen. Well, I think it's, it's, it's good to know that socialism is alive and well in the Democrat Party and uh, that it's not only alive and well in one of their leading candidates as a socialist. They're, they're all trying to outdo each other in their disdain for the economic system of capitalism that made us great. So, uh, yeah, no, it amazes me, and it, it actually kind of scares me. And I've, I've been making and spending more time going after Bernie and socialism because I don't want uh, America to succumb to the notion that there's anything good about socialism. I think it's not an accident of history that most of the times when socialism has been tried that uh, – attendant with that has been mass uh, genocide of people or any of those who object to it. Stalin killed tens of millions of people. Mao killed tens of millions of people. Pol Pot killed millions of people. And soon Bernie Sanders will kill millions <laughs> of people. What? Oh. What? Look, I get it. You are now irrelevant because you are low in the polls when it comes to the GOP and you're done. You're done, right? So now you're going to spend your time attacking Bernie Sanders. You think Bernie Sanders wants genocide? You mm -hmm. think Bernie Sanders wants people to die? Do you not understand that we already have socialist programs in the country right now? Have they led to the death and destruction of people in the country? No. He's just Arguably, they've killed millions here. Here's, mm. here's what happened. Here, you know what has killed millions of here? Corporate greed. Mm -hmm. Okay, our Medicare pro or Medicare. Yes, Medicare program or health program, I should say, let me be specific, our health program that has denied people coverage because of pre-existing conditions, yes. that has denied people coverage of prescription drugs that save their lives. I mean, that has killed a lot of people. And what is that? That's privatization, right? And so if you want to make an argument about what type of fiscal policy has actually led to the death and destruction of people's lives, I would argue that what you advocate for is more likely to do that. Yeah. Asshole. Whoa. Like I can't, I can't stand it because here's the thing. I knew, I knew without a shadow of a doubt that people would see that Bernie Sanders is surging in the polls, that he's doing mm -hmm. well, and they would attack him with the buzzwords, right? Mm -hmm. They would attack him with, oh, these crazy accusations of like, oh, he's a socialist communist and he's going to do this and that. I mean, we did a story about Trump yesterday calling Bernie Sanders is socialist slash communist because he doesn't know what either one of those words mean. So he's like, yeah. let me just say the scariest things for Americans and and trick them into thinking that this is a dangerous man. He's yeah. not a dangerous man. Almost all the other politicians running for president, they're much more dangerous than Bernie Sanders is. Lincoln Chafee, I don't trust him. That guy will get millions <laughs> yeah, okay. killed. You know what you I know. mean? Like front I know. I know. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Amen, sister. I, I mean, I, I mean, what, what could you possibly add after that? You know, Rand Paul. Full disclaimer: I'm from Kentucky, and he is, you know, my wow. my senator. Right? And, you know, it's just, um, it's, it's. What, what can you say after that? That was just well said. Yeah, well and, said. and there, are, there are other reasons to like Rand Paul on particular issues. There are no. He's, but then sometimes he reminds you, oh, that's your ideology. That's I forgot. Your, right. And nothing against Mr. Chaffee. I, I just want to take yeah. that back for all of you out there that happen to be from Rhode Island who might really like this man. My apologies. Yeah. I just. His his name just kind of got me. But back to back yeah. to what we were talking. Yeah. About. Yeah. And so look, here's the problem. I, I, I taught political science courses for a brief period. You're, you're currently a journalist professor. Apparently, we're both failures because Americans grow up having no idea what socialism is, what capitalism truly is, what fascism or communism is. Are they? They just use the terms without any reference to actual history. Mm -hmm. They label movements that are one, the other. Uh, Pol Pot and Mao and Stalin. They had some issues, but their issue wasn't uh, too strong of a devotion to socialism. No, they were dictators using communism uh, and totalitarian control of the, the means of production of food and things of that sort. That's what led to the deaths of millions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes directly they killed many or they led to mass starvation and, and migration and things of that sort. They weren't, they weren't <laughs> Belgium, they weren't Holland, they weren't Denmark. That's not what we're talking about. He is not a communist of the sort of, he's not a Leninist. He's a socialist, and we live, as Anna said, America is a socialist country right now. We have uh, a fairly strong social safety net with a few massive holes in it that need to be plugged. Mm -hmm. But we already, uh, we, we take money and we put it into government programs that make people's lives better. Can you imagine?
imagine privatizing every single element of society. Nothing is a social program, right? So, and Paul wants so, to. So we privatize our police force, which, by the way, I know we have our criticisms of the police force now. Mm -hmm. but you privatize it, and then only the wealthy can uh, pr provide for themselves when it comes to private security, mm -hmm. right? So you have that. You privatize all education, meaning that if you're not wealthy enough to pay for education, you're not getting educated. That's another thing. We already have a privatized healthcare system, and I already mentioned all the bad things involved in that. Um, and so, so what happens? It, basically, you have to have a certain amount of money just to have a decent lifestyle. Yeah. And then at the same time, you have to deal with wages that have remained stagnant for the last couple decades. They have not kept up with the the you know rise of inflation. I mean, it's, he's a clown, and he looks up or looks out for the wealthiest people in the country. Anyone yeah. else who's in the working class or middle class, he has absolute disregard for. Mm. So I, I don't take anything that he says seriously. And using words like genocide is freaking hideous when it comes to this situation. Yeah.